if you have been watching my videos lately about uh, Greylog, I have uh, shown you how you can uh, set it up. I have uh, explained you some uh, concepts about uh, Greylog uh, and uh, Elasticsearch as well as Mongo database. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about um, how you can uh, back up uh, your Greylog and uh, restore the processes. Your Greylog server uh, setup and settings are very easy to back up with uh, Mongo database dump and the uh, file system backup of uh, all of the configuration files. And this is because um, all the configuration for Greylog is stored in Mongo database like the inputs or um, the outputs or the indices uh, the indices configuration the authentication the content packs the graph patterns the lookup tables uh, this configuration is stored all over there into the Mongo database. So to back up the Mongo database, first we will need to find our primary Mongo database server. And to do that, we will gonna go to one of the servers. We will gonna go to the Mongo console. And here we will gonna go for rs.status and uh, here we should see our primary server. Greylock 3 is the secondary. Greylock 2 is the secondary. And yeah, Greylock 1 is the primary. So I'm going to go to the primary one. And I'm going to do a show DBs to see the databases. This is our. Um, Greylock database. Now we will exit the Mongo console with exit. And then I'm going to do a Mongo dump and hit enter. Mongo dump uh, will going to create the backup for all the, all the previous databases that you have seen there. Admin, Greylock, local and so on. In your current directory where the dump was created or when where you have executed the command let's do a print working directory and it's in root right now let's do an ls to see what it's here and uh, we have this folder which is called dump yeah let's do a change directory to dump And here we can see our databases and uh, this this is the backup for them admin and Greylog. Now, for example, if uh, we would like um, after the backup is complete and you can save your databases anywhere you would like, uh, maybe it will going to be the time to restore these databases and to do the restore. You need to type in, but first let's go to up one directory let's do an ls and here we can see the the dump directory yeah for the backup and to do the restore we can do a mongo restore and you can hit enter right to do the restoration of the databases i'm not gonna do this because uh my environment uh, is already running okay so there is no uh, sense into restoring the the backup from the dump yeah that's pretty much about the Mongo database uh, backup but you also have uh, an option in Greylog itself which is called command packs 
and right now with the newest version from Greylock, which is uh, 3.0, you can do a lot of content packs. So um, let's go for uh, create a content pack here. And I'm going to name this one uh, full backup. or full underscore backup. In the summary, I'm gonna say, I don't know, let's say backup, whatever you want. Uh, the description is again, something. I'm just gonna put backup. Uh, vendor, this is a description for the vendor. Let's call it a uh, gray log. Uh, this is some URL. I'm not going to say anything about URL. Enter a search query for content pack selections. Let's say to all. And right now we can do uh, backup for dashboards. We have one dashboard here for firewalls. Uh, grok patterns. This is our grok pattern. So you can also backup these ones. You can backup your inputs. You can backup your lookup adapter configuration, lookup cache. Lookup table, pipeline. So you can also do the pipelines. Uh, sidecar collector, if you have any configuration for these ones. Uh, and streams as well. So you can select everything if you like. So I, I'm gonna do all just for the fun. And then I'm going to click on uh, next. Uh, everything is okay or looks okay. You can see it here in the entity list. Click on next. Uh, this is the preview. This is our current version of Greylog. And uh, you can uh, click on uh, create and download right now. Our full backup is here. You can um, download it to uh, the desktop or to anywhere else, you know, like uh, if you like to save it and then you, um, uh, if you like to import it um, on another system or something else, you can uh, check it out to see how it looks like. Or for example, if you're gonna click on install, it will gonna install all uh, all the backups or for the configurations that uh, you have selected. But please remember that uh, with Cunning Packs, uh, at this very moment, you cannot save your settings for authentication uh, and for uh, indices. Yeah, so it would be much easier to do with uh, with um, um, Mongo database dump. And another important thing that uh, you need to keep in mind is that the Mongo database and uh, Greylog Common impacts they will not back up your elastic elastic search. Uh, data or logs and the most important one I think uh, it's uh, data so the data that you have currently in your Elasticsearch uh, servers on the node servers they will not going to be backed up uh, however there is an option for you to uh, back up your Elasticsearch data in case uh, you just want to be sure 
uh, for example, if you're thinking to go for some kind of um, upgrade and you are not sure if it will gonna be successful, or for example, if um, you simply need to archive your data that you have. And for example, for this one, you have something uh, which is called uh, Snapshot and Restore from Elasticsearch, uh, from the Elastic company, which is uh, making this product available. Uh, right now we were directed to 7.0 version, but uh, for Greylock uh, 3.0.1 at this very moment, the highest version which is uh, supported for Elasticsearch is uh, 6.8. We cannot go to 7.0. And here you're going to have um, all the um, guidelines on uh, how you can uh, create your, your snapshot. And of course, how you can uh, import it. At this very moment, uh, in this video, I am not going to show you how you can uh, uh, create a snapshot for the Elasticsearch data and how to restore it. If you'd uh, like to see this one happening, how you can back up your uh, Elasticsearch data, uh, drop some comments uh, in the section down below. Uh, let me know if you're interested, if I should uh, create a video because uh, the explanation is uh, quite long and um, 